Hello everyone, welcome to the study entitled Energetic Performance Evaluation of Walls Incorporating Phase Change Material Under Semi-Arid Climate of Benigri City. My name is Saleh Mustafa and I'm a PhD student at the Green Tech Institute at Mohammed VI Polytechnic University. I'm working on thermal energy storage systems, especially on thermal storage with phase change material for the improvement of energy performance of building. During this presentation, I'm going first to introduce the context and objectives of this research, then the building description, methodology, and results obtained during this study. Finally, I'm going to finish this presentation by a conclusion. So, according to 2020 Global Status Report for Buildings and Construction, the building construction sector is considered energy intensive and is responsible for over one third of global final energy consumption and nearly 30% of total direct and indirect CO2 emissions. So, it is of great interest to develop innovative technologies for thermal management of buildings. This work is related with integration of phase change material into a building due to their ability to improve the thermal energy of the building envelope. Using passive thermal energy storage with PCM in the building envelope presents an attractive solution for improving the building envelope's energy efficiency and reducing both energy consumption and CO2 emissions. As depicted in this figure, at the envelope element scale, the thermal performance of the energy system is mainly influenced by the external and internal boundary conditions and thermophysical properties of the PCM. Therefore, the main objectives of this work is to study the potential of various PCMs in reducing temperature fluctuations as well as the energy consumption under climate of Benigri City. Also, select the optimal PCM for semi-arid climate in Benigri City. For these purposes, a typical building as shown in left side is selected for the present study, with floor area of 12 square meter and a height of 3 meter. It has one double sliding window and a wooden door in the south side. The construction materials are shown in the right figure and the PCM is located on the interior surface of the building. The simulation was performed without considering unstable heat sources such as home occupation, electrical appliances, etc with fan coil unit as IHVAC system and operates 24 hours a day with temperature set points of 21 degrees C for heating and 25 degrees C for cooling. The paraffin commercial robotherm was selected as a PCM for the current study. Various PCMs were used with melting temperature ranging from 18 degrees C to 35 degrees C, with enthalpy temperature curves are plotted in the left figure while for the location of building was Benigri City in Morocco with a warm semi-arid climate. The right figure shows the temperature variations for a typical year in Benigri City. To simulate the impact of PCMs in the typical building, Design Builder software was used as a graphic interface for Energy Plus. Energy Plus software uses a fine difference conduction algorithm based on a fully implicit solver using the following equations. As we can see, this algorithm is associated with enthalpy temperature function to consider enthalpy change during phase change. Further, to optimize the selection of APCM, thermal and energy performance indicators such as at FR value and energy saving are used. They are calculated according to the following equations. The first result is validation of algorithm used in Design Builder software by comparing simulation results with the work conducted by Alam et al. A single zone building as shown in this figure was constructed and simulated in Design Builder under climatic conditions of Melbourne in Australia. The results of the indoor operative temperature are illustrated in the right figure. As we can see, the results obtained in this study are in good agreement with the results reported by Alam et al. Hence, this tool can be used to evaluate the thermal performance and energy saving potential of building integrated with PCM. Thermal comfort is highly dependent on the indoor building temperature. A comparison between the indoor building temperature with and without PCMs is depicted in the left figure for four days in April. 
in that the integration of PCMs results in a reduction of the daytime zone temperature and an increase in the nighttime zone temperature. As shown, the PCMs with the melting temperature of 25 and 28 degrees C are more efficient than other PCMs. The results of the ATFR value calculated for the five PCMs are shown in the right figure. So, the melting temperature has a significant influence on the efficiency of the PCMs. The PCMs with lower melting temperature are more effective during the winter season, while PCMs with higher melting points are more effective during the summer season. This section focuses on evaluating the building heating and cooling energy consumption for different phase change temperature. This figure shows the annual energy saving results with the selected PCMs. The higher heating energy saving is achieved with RT18 during winter season. However, during summer season, the maximum cooling energy saving is achieved by the RT28. According to these results, the highest energy saving was obtained with the RT28 HC as PCM. Thus, it performed well in buildings located in the regions with semi arid climates such as Bengali City. As a conclusion, we can say that the performance of PCMs depend on phase change temperature and the optimal melting temperature dependent on the local climate and season. And for regions with semi arid climate such as Bengali City, the PCM RT28 is the most suitable, with the highest annual average ATFR value and energy saving. And thank you for your attention.